Hey, how you guys doing out there? I wanted to bring you guys a tutorial on how to install this into your car. And there's two different ways I'm going to show you guys front and rear facing, but uh, this is going to be on newer models where you don't have to do the back strap. It's the ones where it includes this. If you guys need to use the back straps, definitely reference your manual that it comes with. It's very important to do that. But this is the Graco Forever, and this is the all-in-one car seat. We went from an infant car seat to this. So um, Harrison was about a year old or so when we actually started putting him in here and he was old, or he, how much did he weigh? Like 20, 24, pounds. 24 pounds. So he was weighed enough that we could put him in forward facing, but I also installed this thing rear facing at first. A couple things to note. One is when you do get the manual, there is a little spot right here. It's actually pretty nifty. It says store the manual here. So recommend you guys doing that so you guys have the manual on you if there's any question for you or your friends if you need to change the car seat or other people around. So very important to have that on you. This is the car seat. There's a couple quick things to note. 10 position adjustment, harness and headrest. You literally pull this up and then you move it up and down. This little headrest part we left in here after they grow out of this, obviously if it looks too uncomfortable then you can re remove it. Uh, the other thing that was really weird, a little different to myself, this little quick release, so you, you pull this and it tightens it, as you can see. But in order to release it, this little lever is right down here and you literally flip it up and then pull these harnesses at the same time. So that's how you release it, by pulling this up. Other ones that I have, um, you push down and it releases it, so it's something subtly different. And then to recline the chair is right here. Rear facing, forward facing, so the uh, the arc and it has a ton of information here which is very very helpful as well but for rear facing it's important that it's in this bubble right here and in that correct range all right so you remove this part here and the hook around the side and then this part and then it gives you uh the undercarriage you expose the undercarriage and then basically under this area here is where you move the straps from uh forward to rear facing so this is the area right here that the rear facing latch would come through. This right here is the area that the forward facing latch comes through. And so you can see that's where we have this. And then these things that I'll show you later will hook into the car down like that. So this forward facing, rear facing, and in order to move them, it's really simple. You literally just take them from under this part here and you can see that we just moved it from back here. I know it's kind of a lot to take in, but you can see this part right here came through over on this side. I'm gonna feed it back through so you can see. And then you literally just feed it back through like this and then put it down through the other hole down here. And then now this would, in the car, pretend this is a car seat here, this would go into the hook on both sides and then it would be locked in. Versus forward facing, obviously it would be back on that side. So that is really simple on how to adjust those two, but that was definitely something I was fearful for doing because it was a pretty, I don't know, I thought it was a lot more difficult than it, than it, it really was. Um, but pay attention to the, uh, the rear facing bubble, if it is rear facing, and also pay attention to this section down here for forward facing and the recline positions. Forward facing 22 to 65 pounds, and uh, basically uh, this is the four five, six position, and then you get to the booster once they get bigger. So that is that, the lock method here. This is for, I think, 2008 cars and newer. So if you don't have that and you can't find the hooks, then you have to use the uh, the other way, which again, you'll have to refer to the manual because I don't know how to do that style. All right, so for forward facing, this is the strap on both sides. As you can see, you just want to kind of pull them and even them out to make sure they're even. And then this part was a little bit tricky for me right here, but this is a part for loosening or tightening and obviously it's a belt so if you just pull it tightens it but it's really really tough to tighten and really tough to loosen so this little button right here this is actually a release latch and you got to push it down and then just pull it once again it's completely loose then you will even them out like this before you go approach the vehicle and then when you get in the car we're going to go ahead and latch these into the metal bars in the back of the seat on both sides this is the way you lock them in like this you don't flip them around like this the red part should be top so this is the top and it literally tells you top facing and then you'll want to put the one that doesn't have the quick release here in first so this one would be the first one that you put in and then you put the second one in 
with the, the quick release to tighten it. And then I'll give you some tips to tightening it once we get in the vehicle. I, as you can see, I'm gonna try to put this in the car seat. One thing to note is that down here is where the hooks are. You can see the metal bracket like right there is one. And then there's another one right down on that side. So one pain point you guys might run into that I just found out is this car gets stuck right there and it will be held down lower, which means you won't have enough room to actually latch these in forward facing. So you have to wedge it past this section right here and you should be good. So now that you can see that the straps are out on both sides, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it's on position four right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in to the strap right there and make sure it clicks in and you're good. On the other side, same thing. There should be a strap right down here. There it is, it's in. And now you can pull on this to tighten. Now our tip for tightening this thing is you want somebody to be able to push down on the middle as firmly as possible so you can pull this part up as much as you can to get a firm, like really, really tight lock. So there you have it, you can see it's pretty snug in here, it doesn't move, and that's because we put the force in the middle and then pulled on the strap. Woohoo! Okay. We're in! Looking good, bro!